devolution, descent or degeneration to a lower or worse state. Today, there's something to those pictures that makes me already look old and faded, even way back then. Always keeping so very busy engendered in me a background sense of some kind of a comforting permanency. I ran the suburbs like a fast personal savannah and then crouched in front of TV like it was some smoky fire. Striped cat purred on top that old wool blanket on my tired lap during a tiny, tiny fractal eddy of forever. In the morning, the world seemed born again until I joined that maddening herd in the smog once again. The dew, though tainted with our mistakes, still made things look very fresh and wondrously clean. My takeout beliefs had grown cold and stale just when I needed their nourishment the most. I was unconsciously framing an apology even as I lashed out in a blind rage for the nine millionth time. Swirling into a hungover consciousness, I vowed once more that it would never happen again. I grew confused as to what year we went where on which long-anticipated three-day holiday weekend. I kissed her again for the first time on that golden October afternoon, knowing full well she was gone forever. Given our circumstances, I found almost daily depression normal and my rare happiness quite a mystery. It wasn't until long afterward that I realized how late it had already grown, even so long ago. Slowly, I convinced myself I had lost my way, though really, I never had a clue as to where I was headed. As my youthful anger slowly aged to a senile and foolish bitterness, I still hoped to distill a few drops of wisdom. Even as we made our eternal vows, we both knew that simple time alone would unthinkingly undo them. My seeming hardened indifference sprang simply from my being overwhelmed by insoluble issues. My safe habits had worn a familiar groove in a very small part of an infinity of frightening possibilities. I studied myself as I slowly devolved back into that dimensionless point from which I had no memories. I saw the four short seasons of my life finishing in an endless and dreamless dark winter's night sleep.